Hi, my name is Vadims. I'm the head of application department of Senus, the affordable a platform for engineering simulation. We integrate open source tools into the simulation workflow and provide user-friendly interface for it. In previous videos, we created geometry and mesh uh, of the simple printed circuit board or PCB. Um, defined parameters of calculation in Senus interface and performed calculations using DP solvers integrated in Senus platform. You can find the uh, links to, to that tutorials in the description for this video. In this video we shall finally post-process the results. Um, when the results uh, are obtained or simulation is done, a PowerView window will automatically pop up and you just have to press this apply button and here you see your model in, in the beginning it's just purely black uh, but if we change uh, here in this view uh, ch uh, choice to the temperature we see the temperature in the zeros time step which is initial so everything should be 20 uh, we have totally 13 time steps, uh, so from 0 to 12. Just input your number, press enter, and you will have a new uh, time step. Um, we'll have to rescale it because the scale is now from 0 to 20. So um, this is scaling menu. So with uh, this button, you can toggle the visibility of label um, and temperature scale. The, this one is automatic rescaling. Um, this is custom rescaling which means you can input your own range let's say from 20 to say 160 rescale. This is what we get. There is another interesting button, is this one, it allows more options for um, changing temp uh, parameters of this label. So if you press now this uh, button with E letter in it, you will have access to different options. For example, you can change a title, let's, say, let's change it to temperature of chip. Uh, hit apply, see the titles changed now. The next thing is we can change font. It's bigger now. We can also change color of it um, to let's say to pink. Um, yeah, uh, so we have a purple text now. Um, Another thing is label format. You see um, here is uh, normal numbers, here's in scientific view. So we could actually say that we want the same format here for range label. You see we have everything in, in normal, normal numbers. Uh, let's also increase the number of uh, labels there. Let's make it nine. So now you see what have you got. Yeah, we can close this window now and also close this uh, color map editor. You can move uh, move the label around as you wish. You can place it here and then move move the model around. So. The next thing is you might be interested to see temperature in certain cross section. This can be done by using this slice. Uh, when you hit the slice, uh, you have a plain out uh, plain outline in the red appeared. You can move it by your mouse. Uh, let's put it here. Hit apply, and you see you have 
we have a cross section of this uh, of the whole model in this uh, plane. Let's uh, make a view now to plus z, uh, sorry, plus y, nah, or plus x direction. Um, you see what have we got? This is our plane. Uh, I suggest to click the, this show plane, then you will not be able to move it anymore and you can uh, rotate your model. The other option is to say press X normal and then input just your points. So uh, this one is your normal in direction of X, 1, 0, 0, and this is the point where your cross section is located. It may be also interesting to see a uh, Y normal. Hit apply and then let's view it in plus Y direction. This is what we get. Uh, we should maybe go to the time step where um, temperature is the highest. It should be a sixth time step. Hit enter. Wait a second and yeah, this is what we get. Uh, Maybe it makes sense also to, also to rescale it now. Maybe it's more than 160, up to 200, yeah. So, this is how to do um, cross sections. Now, I might imagine that you would like to create a graph of temperature along some certain line. Uh, let's make the slice invisible again and make our model visible. So this is done by creating sources. Uh, sorry, you have to go to tools, uh, filters, and plot over line. You see there are a lot of filters and uh, discussion of each filter should be a tutorial on its own, but uh, I will only show you a couple of them. So plotting over line, and the line is created by means of two points. Let's do it 26, uh, so x will be 26. It will be from 0 to 20, and this will be 1.5. This will be also 1.5. So this is actually the location, is here, below the chip and uh, just between the epoxy and a copper layer hit apply and when you do this you'll immediately see some graph but um, let's have a look what it displays there's some variable named domains which actually doesn't have any physical meaning uh, if we remove it then we have only temperature left and the temperature distribution is actually just just what we expected. It's pretty low on, on the edges and very high uh, in the middle just be below the chip. You can also see that it's possible to change the resolution of this line. If we click here 10, it will be very, uh, very rough edges here. And make it even smaller it's very rough so but by default it was 100 um, and I believe that these kings here are connected with uh, our mesh resolution so that's our uh, possibility to plot over line and the last thing I would like to show you is how to plot over time um, you will have to select points uh, somewhere in the model, let's say here in the middle of chip. And now go to filters, alphabetical and plot selection over time. It has automatically this one point uh, selected, hit apply and wait for for a couple of seconds, uh, it can take even more depending on number of time steps and size of your model. Um, this filter plot selection over time allows you actually to also do uh, statistics uh, over points. It means if you have selected uh, five or six points, you can output 
uh, mean value of these points over time. Uh, but now we have only one point. So there should be only one possible output. So um, now if we scroll down we see the, the, the parameters which are shown so we don't need the z, a, x and y it's not interesting for us furthermore uh, we don't need median values and we are not interested in quartiles and ranges also So now you see how, how this temperature over, over time changes. So first it rises um, to more than 200 degrees over first six time steps. It's uh, 60 seconds and then it starts to decline again. And this is exactly what we would expect because after 60 seconds we turn off the heating. Um, if you would like to export this graph, you can go to File, Save Data, and input the file name of file name in CSV uh, format, and just save the data. Um, I guess that these were just few features for processing in ParView, uh, but. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and uh, you will be able now to post process uh, and evaluate your, your result. This was Wadims. Uh, we performed PCB thermal analysis in Senos platform and post processing was done in Parview. Please see previous videos if you have not seen them. Uh, you can find a link for them in the description to this video. Otherwise, follow our YouTube channel and see more tutorials coming soon. Thank you. Bye.